Hey, it's Linda. I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video for you of my new catalog product. I'm not really sure what's in here anymore. I can't remember what I ordered. Okay, this is the, doesn't say, metallic edge cotton ribbon. So it's got a silver edge on it. I was looking forward to that one because I like silver. And shimmer ribbon. So this is the gold tone. Um, chic dyes. You know what? It's bad when you can't even remember what you've ordered, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right. Look at these. Doesn't that look awesome? Cool texture and then all seasons covered. And I'm pretty sure there's a coordinating stamp set in here somewhere because I do that. Let's see if I can find the coordinating stamp set first with this one. So season, season of Chic. So that's the stamp set. And then these are the coordinating dies. So that's cool. I love this font. I love that, that fun funky kind of script look. So this is some new logo wear that um, is available for purchase. So this is the Abigail Rose hoodie. So it's based on the designer series paper of the same name. So not fitting in the camera. So there's a hood. Oh, it's so super soft on the inside. I'm so excited. And it's got like a diagonal design. It's got the Stampin' Up! logo pocket which is essential so I'll try that on um, the advice was to order a size larger than you might normally order so I will try this on later and let you know if I agree with that put that aside for now oh full of love I love this stamp set because I am looking forward to doing some coloring with it um, I'm doing a blends class shortly online, so I think I might use this in some of the samples because it just looks cool. Um, oh, the other thing I was really looking forward to in this catalog, I know I pick sometimes the, you know, remote things or the things that may not be as obvious, the things that I love. Masking paper. I am so looking forward to using this instead of using post-it notes, so I'll let you know how that goes too. Um, stamp set, good feelings. Who can't use a good large sentiment stamp set? Watercolor shapes, again, functional shapes. Um, this actually wasn't available to order right away, and then it became available a few days after the catalog went live. So I was happy that I actually procrastinated and delayed and got too busy and then ordered late. <laughs> late for me. Usually I'm on the first day. Um, oh, this is the new magnetic cutting plate. So it's super heavy. I can feel, you know, it's, it's a magnet. And I believe I also heard that the picture on the back, the instructions are actually incorrect. So I'm just going to see if I can open it up and see what it says. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that stuck together? No, that's actually the whole plate. So number five, so the picture here, which is now stuck to the instructions or stuck to the packaging. So be careful of that. What was that again? So this actually says one, two, five, and three. It's actually one, five, and three. So you don't need the second cutting plate. Otherwise it won't fit. Okay. So again, looking forward to using that. Put that aside. Oh, packaging. Um, some more dies that I'm looking forward to trying. So 
there's something called pretty pop-ups. So right now, um, my Stampers Club is meeting virtually still. So we are not allowed to send stamped, pre-stamped images through um, in cl class packages, but we can die cut things. So I've been focusing a lot on the die cuts. So I'm looking forward to using these in upcoming Stampers Club. Ooh, look pretty. So if I remember right, um, some of these have just detailed areas that cut out more than others. So for example, on this dragonfly, I believe the wings and the body, um, sorry, the wings and the bottom of the body and the antenna, um, antennae are popped up or cut out, but the center of the body is not so that just the wings stick up, for example. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. And then this is the split card textures dies. So you can see that it's a diagonal. So you'll be able to die cut part of your card front. Um, and not the other part. So I think that'll be a really interesting look. And I guess you could also use them together. Now that I look at it, if you really want it, I think they might fit together. I'll try it and let you know. More packaging to get rid of. Oh, these are cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna open the package because I already have a package of these and they are like, like greased lightning out of the package. So these are the effervescent elements. So. Well, maybe I'll open it just so you can see. I'll just be really careful. Um, they are like iridescent. Um, I would say glass, but they're not glass, I'm sure. Um, little spheres. Really cool. It goes really um, nicely with the vintage bottle pop-up and the bottled up, bottled happiness stamp set. Um, and I have some samples to show later on. Like not today on another day um glossy dots because who can't use accents um i'll go to the paper next oh oh more adhesive sheets because again love the adhesive sheets oh distressed gold specialty paper oh i don't even have to open it there you go maybe i'll open it anyway so the nice thing on this one I'll point out is that the adhesive is on the main envelope of the body, not on the flap. So it's not going to get stuck to your papers, just like you saw my instruction papers get stuck to the packaging. So there you go. And it's kind of, um, I can't explain it. It's got more of a flexible feel to it, like it's not a firm cardstock. It's cool though. Alrighty, I'm going to put that back in before I mess it up. I think there's, I don't know, is there only one sheet? Is there two sheets? There's two sheets. Maybe that's why it felt different. It is a thinner um, designer series paper. It's not too thick. So there's two sheets of that because it's a specialty paper. Uh, put this aside. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to figure out where to put things. Oh, can you tell I like metallics? Uh, this one is the Texture Chic. So it goes with the Chic Seasons and Chic Dyes. So again, the sticky part is on the envelope, which is nice. So just... So one side has the um, gold embossed on it and the other side is non. That's gonna be a hard one to pick which side you like better. Really pretty. So two of each pattern and they're all double-sided. Ugh. There we go. 
So anytime you see the word specialty, it usually means there's either an extra texture to it or something, an extra feature like metallic gold embossing or some sort of metallic effect. And last but not least, my last logo item that I ordered, because if you've ever met me, you'll know that I drink most of my drinks out of a travel mug. So when they introduced a new logo travel mug, of course I had to have it. So, ooh, look pretty shimmery. This is the um, Orchid Oasis one. Just a little staticky stuff stuck to it with the lid. Nice. Oh, nice lid. Let's see if I can open it. Oh my goodness. There you go. Cool. Looking forward to using that. So you may see me in an online meeting next using this. So hope you enjoyed unboxing my uh, new catalog order with me. If you have any questions, just give me a shout, um, leave me a message, or uh, check the amstamps.com site for more updates.